Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. So as you all know, my back deck is pretty much done and I need a rail on it. So I thought I'd bring you guys along on a little journey so you guys can see how I'm gonna do this rail. So what I've got here is, is I've got railing posts and they're treated. However, I think they're kind of ugly. So what I'm gonna do is, is first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and brush them off, make sure that they're nice and clean. And then I'm going to stain them a very dark color, almost black, which is the same color as the front of my house uh, that has wood siding on it. It's the only side of my house that has actual wood siding on it. It's almost a black stain. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and clean them off, then take all the tags off, and then go ahead and stain them. I've got 10 all together, but I only really need 9. So I'm only going to do 9 today and wait until I finish putting the railing together and if I need that 10th one I'll go ahead and stain it if not I'll bring it back and get my money back one thing I've always learned since I started building is that you always try to get at least 10% more than what you know you're going to need that way if something happens and one breaks or you mess one up or something like that you always have a little buffer that will keep you from having to go back to the lumber yard to get one piece instead if I don't use it I'll just bring it back at my convenience so let's go ahead and get started and brush these off They are all done, ladies and gentlemen. We got nine done. We've got one over there as a backup, just in case we need it. And now all I have to do is let these things dry and probably start putting them up on the deck tomorrow. Unless they need another coat on one of the sides that I didn't catch, we'll start putting these up on the deck. So we will see you then. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I apologize for not showing you us actually putting this together but there weren't enough hands to help out because I have to be downstairs on a ladder and then we have to have someone up here holding everything level and plumb and then someone else going back and forth to get like screws and drill bits and things like that. So I couldn't record any of that, but I just wanted to go ahead and show you, this is what we did for our deck railing. And the reason why we left a big gap like this in the middle between the top and the bottom railing and the reason we didn't go with the railing that has the little boards like every six inches apart is because in the winter, when we come out here to get the snow out of the deck, we have to have a way to get the snow out of here easily because I really don't have the strength in my shoulders to lift up every shovel and throw it over the top rail. So that's why we went like this. We may go with putting another rail in the middle, which would still be okay, but this is what we did. We decided to put some black stain on these posts 
because it's the same stain that we use in the front of the house to stain the wood in the front of the house and then decided to go with cedar uh, boards so those boards in the middle are cedar boards that I just put a light translucent stain over the top to protect it a little bit against the weather although cedar is pretty resilient against weather anyway so I'm thinking that these will age really well now let me go ahead and give you a quick background on what I'm going to show you next so in order to get um, one of those I always forget I just mentioned it on a live stream not too long ago a few minutes ago and uh, I already forgot the name of it but you know the uh, the awning that's what it is in order to get an awning that's like half the size of this deck a 16 foot awning it's like 1700 bucks to buy one of those so this is what i decided to do so remember uh one of my last live streams not the one that i just did on sunday but the one previous to that i had to do it in cycle so it was raining so check that out this is what i did i went and got a really really sturdy tarp so a tarp that is real thick so this is a heavy duty tarp as you can see that won't break through I think it's like six mil, which is pretty thick. And I went ahead and put it up from the fascia all the way down here with bungee cords in the bottom over here. And it's nice and sturdy. Look at that. Nice and sturdy. It blocks out the sun really well. And even though it's black, it doesn't let any of the heat in. So when I'm in here and it's really sunny outside, we can sit in there and it's nice and cool in there and it creates a nice breeze going through there. So that worked out really good. So let me show you what we're gonna do with these gaps. So you can see there's nothing on this end. That's because on this end, we're gonna build a bench from the side of the house all the way. So it's gonna be an eight foot long bench that we're gonna build here. And that bench is gonna have a compartment in the bottom that I can use to put all my gardening tools. If you guys remember a payday prep I did a while back, maybe, I don't know, a couple, three weeks ago, where I got a whole bunch of gardening tools, we're going to put all of our gardening tools under that bench. So that's what we're going to do with this part right here. Now, the other side over here, on this side, I'm going to put my barbecue, which is probably about three quarters the length of this because my barbecue is pretty big and then with the area that's left over i'm going to build a small table so that i can put my pizza oven in it so that's what's going to go on this side all right so other than that that's about it ladies and gentlemen i think i can't it came out pretty good it's kind of a mess i have to come out here and vacuum this carpet as you can see this is outdoor carpeting that i have out here and it's pretty nice because we get to come out here with our feet bare and not have to worry about wood splinters or anything like that so that's what it looks like that that uh, right there that table right there was my studio that's what i usually put my computer on and everything when i do my live streams out here so this is what it looks like i think i'm going to test this out in the winter to see if it can carry a load or maybe every time it snows i can come out here and wipe this off to even keep snow off of that half of the deck if it works well enough keeping snow off of that half of the deck and the tarp not tearing up or anything like that during the winter then i'll probably put another tarp over this side uh in following winters but that's going to take a few months before we can experiment and see how that works so that's about it ladies and gentlemen i hope you guys enjoyed this very short and not really a full video because i didn't actually show you building it show you guys me building it but this is what it looks like and i think it's going to work out great and check this out i'm leaning up against one of the posts right now and it's holding my weight <laughs> so you know that it was built well right <laughs> Here's what the property is looking like. Very nice. Everything is alive and it is a beautiful day outside. I hope you guys are enjoying your day as well. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. And I want to thank every one of you guys that joined me on the live streams. I have an awful lot of fun chatting it up with you guys during the live stream. All right. That's one of the highlights of my week that I look forward to. So thank you very much for joining in. Always have a great time. Uh, chatting away with you guys and spending a little bit of time with you guys having said that remember to be good to each other when good people do good things good things happen remember to reach one teach one and repeat if we all did this the world would be a better place and you know that it will be a better place many blessings to all of you and your families oh look at here look who decided to visit us hey pebbles say hi hey say hello say hi you want to say meow uh -oh. oh, look at that. She's got a new collar on. She keeps losing her collars. She's getting big. Look at that. <laughs> she was supervising today while I was doing my live stream. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper, and I am out.